How much do you know about Norway? Let me introduce you some related keywords about Norway. Let's get started. Norway heat culture. It's said that wherever there are beautiful scenes like forests, lakes, and the sea in Norway, there is always heat. Day. Heat is a type of holiday home. It can be rented but typically owned by family use. It's said that there are over 440,000 heats through Norway. Most Norwegians take a vacation of more than a month in summer, often spending this time at a heat. It truly seems like a part of their lifestyle. However, many of heaters don't have access to electricity or running water. Mm. It may be inconvenient, but it truly seems to be a vacation where you fully experience nature during that time. Norway, the first choice for salmon lovers. Can you talk about Norway without mentioning salmon? 98% of the salmon sold in Korea comes from Norway. The amount of salmon Norway exports to Korea tripled from 13,000 tons in 2015 to 39,000 tons in 2021. Isn't that tremendous? Not just in Korea, but people around the world consider Norwegian salmon the best. Why do you think Norwegian salmon receives so much love? First, Norwegian salmon is known for good quality, providing salmon over 6 kg and among the top 10-15% in quality seems to be the secret to their popularity. And they are thorough about safety, ensuring that no harmful therapeutic residue is found even in one single salmon. Let's look at the next topic. Norway, setting the highest temperature record in the Arctic. Recently, the whole Europe is suffering from severe heat waves. Norway also has problems with the heat. Gamvik, the northernmost part of Europe in Norway, recently reached a high of 28.8 degrees. It has set a new record for the highest temperature in the Arctic since 1964. Considering that the average temperature in that area in July and August is 10 degrees, it's a doubling of the temperature. Climate experts analyze that the extreme weather phenomena were amplified by the ongoing global warming and the periodic and Nino coinciding. The rising temperature is a problem faced by countries worldwide. Not only Norway, but many countries have set a common goal to solve this problem, and they are working together to achieve it. Part of this is the goal to limit the rising temperature to 1.5 degrees by 2100, reduce greenhouse gas emissions by more than 45% by 2030 compared to 2010, and achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. Climate change response policies are expected to gain more weight in the future. We need not only the direction of problem solving at the national and corporate level, but also the interest and participation of individuals. After all, it's said that a small action can lead to a big change. If people from countries worldwide continuously pay attention to make efforts to solve this climate issue, it is expected to improve from the current situation. Right. Climate issues are important as they threaten the stability of humanity. So it's crucial to work together. How about recognizing the seriousness of climate issue on WAVE and seeking solutions together? Let's meet on WAVE to overcome this climate crisis.